Hello students, today we are going to be learning how to subtract money and as with everything we learn, there are just many, many ways to do it. Today, I'm going to show you seven different ways to do it. Now, that's a lot to watch. So, I'm splitting the video into two parts. This is part one and I'm going to go through four examples and in the video part two, I'm going to go through another three examples. Any time in the video that you find that you do not understand, you can always pause and go back and re-watch it. Have fun! Now our first example is when we are subtracting cents. And the question we are looking at is $5.60 minus 40 cents. Okay? As you can see, when we subtract, we only have the first amount. We do not have 40 cents because we are going to take away 40 cents from $5.60. So I have $5.60 here. Okay, can you see $5.60? And I'm going to take away 40 cents. 60 cents here, I'm going to take away 40 cents. So do I have enough cents to take away 40? Yes, I do. So I'm just going to take 40 cents and take it away. So how much do I have left? I have... I didn't touch the dollars, I still have $5, but now instead of 60 cents, I only have 20 cents left. And that is how we take away cents. We always check if we have enough cents to take away. Now in our second example, we are going to be subtracting just dollars. Previously, we only subtracted cents, but in this question, we are only subtracting dollars, okay? So remember, when we subtract, we only have $10.50 and we are going to take away 7 from $10.50. So as you have seen, as you can see here, I have shown you $10.50. Now, you may ask, if I want to take away $7, how am I going to do that? I only have $10, right? I only have one note. Okay, if I'm going to take away $7, you need to think of $10. There are many ways to think of $10. $10 can actually be the same as two $5 notes. But do I want to change that for two $5 notes? If I do that, I cannot take away 7 yet because I only have 5 and 5, right? So another way to show $10 is to get five $2 notes. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. But do I want to do that? If I put $10 as five $2 notes, I still can't take away 7, right? Because... To make 7, I need to like cut this note into half. No, I can't. So I'm going to choose to make $10 in a combination of $5 notes and $2 notes and $1 coin. So I'm going to choose to make $10 become 5, 2, 2, 1. Okay? So instead of using a $10 note, I'm going to put 5, 2, 2, one, which is also $10.50. Now, if that's the case, 10 minus 7 is just, I'm going to take away 7 here. I'm going to take it away. And I will be left with $3.50. Now, I'm showing you how it is if you have real money. Okay, but if we are just looking at the numbers, we are just going to take $10 here minus 7. 10 minus 7 is 3. And the 50 cents I did not touch, which is still there. In our third example, we are going to subtract or take away a combination of dollars and cents. Again, when we subtract, remember we only have $8.70. And that's what I'm showing you here. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8. I'm going to put these dollar coins together with the dollars because this is our special coin, remember? This coin is the one that is $1. And I'm going to put the dollars with the dollars. And our 70 cents is here. 20, 20, 20, 10. And that will give us 70 cents. And we are going to take away $3.10. So the first thing we are going to do, we are going to subtract the dollars. And I'm going to draw this so that you can see. We're going to do the dollars. $8 minus $3. Okay, $8 minus $3. I'm going to take away $3. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two
two and a one will take away three. I'm going to take away three dollars and put it away. Take it away. I will be left with five dollars. Eight minus three is five dollars. So I'm going to write that here. Five dollars. Now I have not done the cents. I'm going to put the dot because the cents is going to come after the dot. Now I have for the cents, 70 cents here minus 10 cents. So 70 cents, I'm going to take away the 10 cents. How many cents do I have left? 70 minus 10, I have 60 cents left. So that is what I'm going to write here. So this method is called subtract the dollars and then subtract the cents. In our next example, we are going to use a method quite similar to the previous one we learned, but not quite. So let's get started. We have $23.20 minus $12.70. So as we did previously, we are going to subtract the dollars first. And I'm going to circle place. So this is $23 and we are going to take away $12. Remember the dollars are the numbers before the the dots right before the decimal point so 23 minus 12 okay first i'm going to take away 12 okay and i'm going to be left with 11 dollars now i'm going to write it on top here can you see 11 dollars next i'm going to take away the cents now if you see there's 20 cents and i need to minus 70 cents like how am i going to take away 70 cents if i only have 20 cents here so here's what I'm going to do. I have 11.20. Now let me write that down separately. I now have 11.20. But I still need to take away that 70 cents that I have not taken away. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Instead, I'm going to first take away 20 cents. Okay, I'm going to split 70 cents into 20 cents and 50 cents. Okay, watch carefully. First, I'm going to take away 11.20. I'm going to take away 20 cents. Take away 20 cents. That will give me $11. If I do eight, uh, 11.20 minus 20 cents, I will have $11. And now I need to take away another 50 cents. Now, how do I take away another 50 cents from this $11? I can change this 50 into 50 cents, right? $1 minus 50 cents would give me, if I take away 50 cents, okay, let me show you for those who cannot imagine this, okay? I repeat, now $1 is the same as two 50 cents, okay? So if I have that $1 taking away that 50 cents, I will be left with 50 cents. So I would have $10 and 50 cents so what i have done is i have taken away to go to 11 dollars and then from 11 dollars i take away another 50 cents which would give me 10 dollars and 50 cents okay let's go at the same question again but now i'm not going to be showing you the dollars i'm just going to be showing you using the numbers okay and I'm going to break it down. If you didn't un understand the previous one with the notes, I'm going to show it to you now. We have $23.20, yes? Now, I'm supposed to take away $12.70. But first, I'm going to take away $12. And then I'm going to take away $0.70. Okay, so let's do that. $23.20 minus $12 will give me $11.20. Now I've done this one. And I have not taken away $0.70. Cents. Okay, now instead of taking away $0.70, cents, I'm going to break $0.70 cents up. Okay, instead of doing $0.70 cents all at one go, I'm going to take away $0.20 cents first and then take away another 50 cents okay why do i do that because i want to go to 11 dollars 11 20 minus 20 cents would just give me 11 dollars 
And I have not done this, so I'm going to put it down. Minus 50 cents. Okay? If I have $11 and I want to take away 50 cents, I'm going to take away from one of the dollar. One dollar, I'm going to be left with. Okay, I'm going to show you this in notes and coins. Now, this is $11. Okay, I'm going to change this one dollar to 50, 50 cents. And this is still, this is still $11. $11. $11, I'm going to take away 50 cents. I have $10 and 50 cents. I hope you understand this example.